punching her, she's scratching me. I'm punching her, she's scratching me. I'm punching her, she's still scratching me. Hi writers, it's Araya. Welcome back to my channel and today is day two of a story time week. Are you guys excited that I'm going to the story time week? Is it exciting for you? It is exciting for me. Because you guys are gonna hear five brand new stories back to back to back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> and I got five writers back to back to back. So this is my second writer of the week. And here is this beautiful lady. Yesterday, hi boo boo. Yesterday I had a boy. Today I'm gonna have a girl. If you guys see me to write pictures, I'll see you every day, but that's what I need a writer right here. Um, uh, thank you for being today's a writer and you guys didn't know how to um, kind of submit to be a, a writer of the week or the day considering we're doing a story time a week uh, what do you do you send me a snap on my snapchat and that video right there is a little glimpse into it as Raya underscore her make sure you do add me on snapchat so you can see what I'm doing throughout the day you can know what I'm looking for a writer what I'm not looking for a writer when I'm going to talk to you guys when I need you guys opinion on what I should wear or what I should be for dinner or what I just ask y'all that type of stuff so make sure you add me on snapchat um make sure you also follow me on instagram at underscore simply mariah that's m-a-r-i-y-a-a -A. follow me on a twitter it's at mariah twice r-i-y-h-c-w-i-c-e also follow me on my facebook page it's Raya Raya. go like that and let's get ahead and get into the story time so you guys know by now that me and my family roll in packs and be infamous for beating somebody the fuck up this shit was no different from when i was a little kid Remember I told you guys there were three big families in my projects. It was the Dorches, us, Phelps, and the McDonald's. Yes, the McDonald's. Um, I'm not going to say some of the people I am going to say their real name because they were, their name was nicknames and some of them I am not. But me and this one girl, we're going to call Rebecca, we were frenemies. And we were frenemies to the point like we would be friends and then we would fight. And we would be friends and then we would fight. Um, so right now we were fighting. I remember so the first the first big fight we had was coming up to Hill from Spencer. I went to Louisiana Spencer Elementary School. The projects were right there on the right of it. We were coming up the hill from school and that whole day in school, Rebecca, she was telling me that she wanted to fight me and I'm like, this bitch wanna fight me again for what? Mind you, the time before that and the time before that I had beat her the fuck up. And I'm like, she still wanna fight, but she one of the bitches that wanna fight you and win. So we was coming up the hill, and bitch, my aunt Nini was up here, who's my mother's cousin, but we called her, we call her aunt. My aunt Nini was still living up here at the time. She was walking me and my cousin Bernie home from school. And to her. She walking us up the hill from from school. We talking. This next thing you know, I get shoved. Like a shove, like boom. And I had to be in the third or fourth grade. It had to be in the third, it might, it might have been the fourth grade. She pushed the shit out of me and I was stumbling and I turned around and immediately my book bag in my hand, all I'm thinking of do is go like this. So I like turn around and swing and then hit her and I'm like, this bitch wanna fight me. So my Nini like put your shit down and fight her. So I'm gonna put my shit down and fight her because my Nini said so. So I put the book bag down and we start fighting. I'm punching her, she's scratching me. I'm punching her, she's scratching me. I'm punching her, she's still scratching me. By the time we done, she got a busted lip and a busted nose. But bitch, my face is on some type of other kind of fire. And I'm just like, like my face was burning. And my enemy like, that's good, Mariah, you got her, you got her. And she looked at me and she was like, let's go. So we went in the house, bitch, when I tell you I look like I got in a fight with a cat, it looked like I got in a fight with a cat. Like I had scratches all up and down my face and my face was like red and like bloody a little bit on my cheeks like i don't know if this bitch had anything she could have gave me from, from scratch me up under her nose i mean scratch me with her nose so i of course didn't go to school for like the next four days but because she had got a busted lip and a black black nose a black a bloody nose <laughs> her and her um cousins and everything her and her was baby her sister or her cousin? I don't know if baby was her sister or her cousin. I can't remember at this time. But it was, okay, so it was Rebecca, baby, Rocky. Um, it was another one. They had a boy cousin and they had an older cousin. But 
they thought it was a good idea to just keep running, kicking on our motherfucking door. Because we lived 1A. You come up the hall, the car the hallway stairs. 1B is right here, or 1 is, I don't know who is 1B or 1A, but it was one or the other. So, 1B here, 1A here. We was right here, McDonald's was right here. These little holes thought it was okay to keep coming out, kicking on our fucking door, knocking on our door, and then running. They thought it was a good idea for some reason. They was taking turns. So, me, it was me and my cousin Birdie and my cousin Taya home. I think it was just us three and my Aunt Mildred was watching us. God rest my Aunt Mildred's soul. That was my Aunt Nene and my Aunt Della and all. That was their mom. It was my Nana's sister. She passed away when I was about a year and a half after this. Like when I was 10 or was I 11? I was 10. Um, so God rest her soul. She used to watch us all the time when my Nana went to work. And this day was no different. It had to be a Saturday or some shit like that because I remember we slept in. And like they was kicking on the door so fucking hard, y'all. Like turning around. Like, Boom, boom, like kick it on the door so bad. Every time we open the door, like they're right. And like we can't go out the house. Like we, it was a rule. Like when my Nana was not there, bitch, you cannot step one foot out of that house. I don't care if you think you're going down. I don't, it don't matter what you was doing. You cannot step a foot out of that project door or you was getting your ass to And they knew this. Like they knew this. They was doing it for a good half hour, y'all. A good half hour. But what they didn't know was my Mildred was about that life. Like my Mildred was about that fucking life. She comes up, she had a little limp, walks up to the door, peep, looks out the door, she see the girl coming up, bang on the door. She like, hold on y'all, hold on. And me, Birdie, and Tay are just like right there. So, my, he's nine, y'all, this is so funny. So she runs. My mother sees her, this is what my mother says, she sees her like at the stairs on the corner, and she peeking in. Nobody opens the door, so she of course comes and do it again. Bitch, when I tell you her foot lift up and the kick back and my aunt Mildred opened that motherfucking door, the bitch fell in. My aunt Mildred pulled her in, closed the door, fuck her up. Just like that. Get it, y'all? So we all just jump on her and start fucking her up. <laughs> we start fucking her up right there in like the hallway of our doorway. Beating her up, punching her, kicking her. Just stuck, like killing this little nine year old girl. Ba no, baby was like 11. She was like two years older. She was too big to be doing that type of shit. So we just fucking her up, Ryan. And literally, my aunt Mildred opened the door and kicked her little ass out. Closed the door, locked the door. Oh my God, I tell y'all, this was the funniest shit that ever happened to us because. Yo, not only is our parents like that, but they parents like that. Like, I swear, it is so fucking funny. Like, you don't want to cross my nana. You don't want to cross none of her sisters. Ooh, her sisters is. Ooh, you don't want to call them swift with the tongue. Just like my Aunt Trinda and my Aunt Lala and all them. Like, it's just something. But, so we fucked her up. And my Aunt Mildred was laughing so hard that she peed on herself. It was so funny. I miss her so much. It was so fucking funny. She laughed so hard. She peed on herself. And my cousin Taya was like, like, we was all us because it was funny. Because, first of all, Taya had beat baby up hella times. So it was like, bitch, why are you kicking on our door? Like, you know you about to get beat the fuck up. And I don't even think she knew Taya was dead. Because it was me and Birdie going the hallway. Like, stop fucking kicking our door. Grown as hell. Um, so I don't think she knew that. But, bitch, she went home. <laughs> she went home. And their grandmother wasn't dead either. So, my nanny came home. Their grandmother name was, we gonna call her Miss Barry. <laughs> Miss Barry. Let me tell y'all, baby must have told her like a whole let, leaving out of her part of the story because Miss Barry brought her ass to that motherfucking door, banging on the motherfucking door hard as hell. My nanny opened the door like what? Girl, Miss Barry was trying to go off like, your motherfucking door, your daughters did this and that. They jumped baby and da da da. And bitch, my, my nana like, from what I heard, your uh, daughter was banging on my motherfucking door for about an hour. Just like that calm because my nana, she got a left one that'll knock you the fuck out. I know I done got it before. <laughs> her left will knock you the fuck out. So my nana hella cool, hella cool about it. So, bitch, Miss Barry was going off so much. Like, she was going off because my nana was unbothered about it. Like, okay, okay. So what are you gonna do? She was banging on my door. My sister opened it. My mom, my grandma's like, my sister opened it. She fell in, and my daughter's beat up. She shouldn't have been kicking on our door, just like that. So this lady started getting like mad, like <laughs> mad. Like I think one of her sons came out, was holding her back. She was so mad. She had white shit coming out of the side of her mouth. It wasn't foam or nothing, but you know how sometimes people speak and they got like extra shit. She had that extra shit it was coming out the side of her mouth. I could even look at her like. 
I was laughing because my nana was so unbothered by it. My nana would have fucked her up. And my uncle would have jumped in. And me and Birdie and Tay and all of us would have jumped in. All nine of us would have beat her the fuck up. Um, because we did outnumber the McDonald's. So we all would have beat them the fuck up. Um, so my nana was very unbothered and she was like going off like and her and my nana were friends. Like, so that's how we became friends because they were friends. And Miss Barry was going to fuck off the white shit coming out of her mouth. And my nana kind of shut the motherfucking door on her face. And then after that, Miss Barry gave her kids permission, like, anytime they walk past that door, kick on the fucking door. And so you know that was the issue. So we was, like, fighting for a long time after that. Like, always fighting. One time they jumped. Oh, my God. I got to tell y'all. One time. This was, was this before. I, this had to be after. It was me. I'm going to tell y'all that story in another thing. In another story time. But they jumped us back. But it was, like. It was only three of us and it was like five, all oh, five of them. But I'm gonna, um, I, I can tell y'all that story like later on this week. But yeah, so that's what happened when we jumped, uh, that girl. Wow. We jumped the baby. Um, and it was pretty, pretty funny because my Aunt Mildred was like super bad. She pulled that bitch in. Get her, y'all. And we fucked her up. Taya, if you see this video, make sure you comment. Hey, because that's my cousin Taya. <laughs> she was there for that too. Like I said, it was me, Taya, Birdie. I don't know if it was anybody else. It might have been Sahad. But Taya, let me know if you remember, was it Sahad there too? Because if it was Sahad, that's probably why she was super, super mad because Sahad hit hard and that's probably why she was mad. I don't know, I can't remember if Sahad was there. But uh, yeah, so that's what happened this time we jumped the girl in our project house. And it was pretty fun, like I said. Rest in peace to my Mildred, we still love you, we still think about you. Um, and that is my story time, it's day two of story time out the way. I am clearly filming this on a Monday because I wanted to film two videos in one day so I can just edit tomorrow and not have to do all my makeup because this takes a long time and with story time weeks like you literally have to get ready film edit post get ready film and I just wanted to cut one of them steps out so to get ready and the film part is going to be cut out and I'm just going to edit this tomorrow and I'll be all having a good week and a good week at school all that good shit and I will see you tomorrow on a Wednesday's um video Thank you guys for watching my video. I love you much. I will talk to you later. Bye.